guys, Jordy here for Cinecam.net and welcome back to Copycat Friday. Some of you guys were asking for the hologram effect from the new Coldplay music video Higher Power. A very cool 3D effect which is actually super easy to do. So follow along as we're going to explain to you guys how it's done. But before we're going to do that guys, I want you all to know that tomorrow we're going to start with the 5 day deal giveaway contest. There's over $10,000 to be won in film gear. So definitely make sure to follow the link in the description down below or head straight to cinecom.net slash giveaway it's not live yet today but it will tomorrow as of saturday so go check it out now let's get started <laughs> Like Jordi said, we're going to recreate the holograms from Coldplay. And of course, we're going to do this in After Effects because we need to track our camera movement. But we also want to create the holograms with 3D models. And we know that not everybody has 3D software. Or do you? If you have the latest update of After Effects, you'll also have a free version of Cinema 4D. A light version, so to say. It's a restricted version, but you can easily integrate 3D models in your After Effects projects. Now, the first thing we want to do is test if our plan will work in this restricted Cinema 4D light version. To save time on animating and modeling the character, we'll just be downloading them from Mixamo. Here you can choose a character or even upload your own and just choose a dance that needs to perform. Normally with Cinema 4D you can just drop this character into the software and be done with it. But since we're working with the light version we ran into some problems. These Mixamo animations are done with character rigs and Cinema 4D doesn't support that so we have to fix this. And this we can easily do, we just have to change our file that we downloaded to an Alembic file. This for example you can do in Blender which is of course a free to download software and what this alembic file does is basically it bakes everything together so you have a dancing model but without keyframes or anything moving it Jordi. you guys know that people in the comments always like to compare us with like famous people or characters from movies yeah i'm like brad pitt no way. like jim carrey or i have that's perfect range or the ape guy do you remember? From Jumanji. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so people were comparing me yesterday with a rapper called what? Jack Barlow. What's poppin'? <laughs> That's exactly you. <laughs> he has the exact same hair. <laughs> and then we go in for Janik. Oh no. Are you guys familiar with Tropic Thunder? Janik! <laughs> It's exactly him. It's not me. 100% Janik. Now for our holograms, we're gonna create them from scratch in After Effects. Of course, you can use these paid plugins like Red Giant, but if you want to save time and money, you can use Storyblocks, our sponsor for today. With a huge library with stock clips and 4K video assets, you will definitely find some pre-made holograms. This way you can become Iron Man in no time. But if you're a Star Wars fan, you can always use the holograms from Storyblocks to execute Order 66. Now besides holograms, they also have After Effects templates, which will make your projects more professional. You can also use these cool motion design assets to give your edit more pizzazz, just like Timo the editor does with our videos. And the best thing is that you only have to pay one single price per year for unlimited downloads. So if you want to start downloading right away, go to the first link in the description below. Yep, 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 yep. Sound check. Yep, 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 yep. You guys weren't really nice in the comments last time I had to dance. So this time, be nice, guys. And that's not true. Some of you were actually very nice. Thank you. I know, I'm a great dancer. When you're filming for this effect, there's two things you need to pay attention to. The first one is that you don't have too much motion blur. The second one is that your ground has enough structure. This is so when you're 3D tracking your footage, it will have enough points to get references from. Guys, let me know in the comments down below. Was I good or was I good? Good! <laughs> Timo scared himself. Timo got scared. What's the sentence? Hey, Jordi, why are you being so colorful? <laughs> I got a brand new t-shirt, guys. It's a copycat and it has stay creative on its color. 
enhance. How awesome is that? And uh, why exactly? Why? Well, that's because I'm super excited for 5-day deal, which is starting in a couple of days. And in the running to 5-day deal, we're actually going to give away film gear for free. I know, it's a giveaway contest. So go check it out, cinecon.net slash giveaway. For all the information, it starts tomorrow, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Jordi again did a great job with the dancing. I honestly think he could go pro. What do you guys think? Now from Jordi's dancing talent aside, let's create the hologram effect. The first step is going to be the camera tracking. We placed our shot in the timeline and with the clip selected, we went to the tracker panel. Here we select the track camera and After Effects will do its job. After it's done, we can see the color tracking points on our clip. And now that we have our points, let's set our ground plane. We hovered over the points and looked for a spot where our target lays perfectly on the floor. Here we right clicked and selected ground plane and origin. Then we right clicked again, but this time chose create solid and camera. Now to see if the tracking worked, we scrub through our edit. And if the solid doesn't shift, it's time for the next step. We are going to normalize our scene, which basically tells After Effects what size our scene is. To do this normalize, you're going to need to download the free script from Red Giant. We'll leave a link in the description down below. Now with the script installed, we're going to create a new solid layer in the back of our scene. So again, hover over some points and create a solid. Then we renamed our ground plane to ground, selected both solids and activated our normalized script. Nothing will have changed in the foreground, but in the background of the project, it's ready for 3D. Now we just have to go to the menu on top, go to file, then export, and here we exported our project as a Cinema 4D file. This will take all the tracking stuff and place it in Cinema 4D Lite. This new file can then be added to our timeline. And to open up Cinema 4D Lite, we just have to go back to the menu on top, go to file, then to new, and choose Cinema 4D Maximum file. And yes, we know. This will create a new Cinema 4D file, but it will also open up Cinema 4D Lite. Exactly what we need. Then in Cinema 4D, we can now open our previous file with the tracking data and add our Alembic 3D models. Because of the normalize that we did, every model will be placed on the ground plane, perfectly in our scene. Once imported, we position and scale our model on the place that we want, and we just save our project. Now back in After Effects, we can see that it's updated and we now have our dancer standing in the scene. But before we can transform it into a hologram, we first need to render out the 3D dancer with an alpha layer. And yes, this will make the dancer not adjustable anymore, so make sure it's in the right spot before you continue. Like 1000% sure. And then render. Okay, now we have our rendered clip and let's place that in our timeline. And we can remove the Cinema 4D file if we want. Now the first effect that we are going to add is the CC ball action effect and adjusted the settings to something we'd like. After that, let's add some more effects. First throw a glow on the dancing model and then it's time for some displacement. Duplicate your clip and on the new layer remove all the effects, but add a black and white effect to it. Then we looked for the displacement map effect and added that to the original 3D model clip. We picked the duplicate layer as our displacement map layer, set both displacement to luminance and played around with some settings. And now the simulated balls will be a little bit distorted giving some extra depth. Then let's add some rolling lines to the hologram. First we created a new black solid and added a fractal noise to it. Played around with the settings until we had something like these lines. Next we of course animated evolution and the offset turbulence making the lines go up. We also added a fast box blur to the solid layer making the lines a little bit blurry. So now we can use Use the solid layer as a track mat for the original 3D dancer model. We place the solid right above the original layer and set the track mat option of the original to Luma inverted mat. And this will give you these rolling lines. And that's it for the holograms. But we are missing some reflections on the floor and this we can easily fix. Go back to your Cinema 4D Lite and with the original project still open, we are going to save it with a different name. Let's call it Reflection. And now we can start adjusting some stuff. We're going to create a floor plane and give it a super reflective material. Then we selected the dancer model and gave it a composition tag. With this tag, we can say that the camera won't see the model, only giving us the reflection on the reflective ground. This we can then import back in After Effects place it under our hologram and adjust some settings. First in the Cineware effect, we're gonna set the renderer to current. Then in the project panel, right click on your reflection file and interpret the footage. Under the alpha settings, we are going to ignore the alpha, making everything around her black. Then press OK, and now we just need to change the blending mode of the reflection to screen. Once you have that, you can tweak it with adding some blur and adjust the opacity if needed. And voila, you have a cool dancing hologram. 
Look at that, guys. I'm dancing among the holograms. And I hope that you enjoyed the effect as well. Learned something new. Enjoyed the video, of course. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And don't forget to check out the 5-day deal link in the description down below because tomorrow we'll be giving away over $10,000 in film gear, something you definitely don't want to miss out on. Stay creative. Ah. Ah. Wow. My nose is back. That I now always at work. As I from the moment I put my mouth mask on, I put my nose constant. Yeah, yeah.